Welcome, everyone. Thanks for stopping by. I just did that short recently on the four Barber Dimes I picked up at the flea market. And in that video, at the top of the screen, you could see part of these two generic albums, coin books. And I was saying how I store some of my 90% silver in these books. I'll put them in two by two flips versus the tubes. Right now, the only tubes I have are, well, this is all, these are all Kennedys here, 40% silver. I got rid of some of the tubes. They were getting in the way. I'd knock them over when I go in this safe. This one might have some 90% in here. There's a Franklin, a Walker. Might be one more of each in there. Maybe, maybe not. The rest are all going to be 40% Kennedys. Doesn't really matter. It's not, it's not about the coins, the dates or whatever. But I was saying how I use these coin books. And it started out, I was using these for Barber Half Dollars. In 2022, I started putting raw Barber Half Dollars in here. And I said, let me see if I could get at least one from each year. Not every mint mark, just one from each year. And I accomplished it. But then I moved over to quarters, the Barber Quarters. And once I started picking those up, which seemed a bit easier... I ended up going to a dance go, a dance go album. But I was still putting my 90% silver in here. This is where the dimes went the other day. The 1898, 1907, 1908. So, like I said, these are all low grade. Let me make sure I point that out. These are not high grade coins. These are not coins I'd put in slabs, have graded. And, uh, yeah, there's no real value here. These are cheap Flea market finds, cheap coin show finds where you, you find that bin of loose coins you sort through or something like that. Maybe some came in flips. And they were anywhere between when I started doing the Barber Dimes. When I started doing this, this goes back to like 2022. They were anywhere from $1.50 up to $4 maybe back then, depending on the condition. And then... Recently, I started seeing, I'm going to say $2.50 up to about $6 for some, but I was buying the low end. I'm still buying the cheap stuff. And uh, like I said, I just throw them in flips and throw them in here. So just showing you what I have here, just a way to display 90% silver and still have fun with it rather than a tube that, like I said, I knock over in the safe. I could pick this up, look at it, and... uh just enjoy it that way. Again, low grades, nothing ex expensive. But just what I do. All right, so that's the last Barber Dime. Now I have some Standing Liberty Quarters. A couple of those may have belonged to my father, though. And I just threw them in here. They weren't worth getting graded. I took some of his, I took some of his coins. He had raw coins that were low grade, and I still had them graded. Sentimental reasons, these weren't good enough. I mean, if there was one that was worn, but yet had value, certain year, low mintage or something, I, I would have had to grade it, regardless of the condition, as long as I knew it wasn't going to be details. All right, so we finished the quarters, and now we have the half dollars. Again, there's no barber quarters in here, because they went to the dance go. All right, so I did get, like I said, one of every year with the Barber half dollars. I do have this commemorative here, the 1893. Some of these are dark. I don't know how they were treated before I owned them. I don't know if they were dipped in some kind of chemical. Uh, or if it's just a reaction with these flips. Supposedly it's mylar. There's no PVC. I don't know. Like I said, there's other things I'll point out as we move forward with some of these. Like this one became really dark. It wasn't that dark when I originally had this. There were one or two I dipped in acetone because they were sticky. So it could be I did not rinse well. And again, a reaction with the mylar. I, I have no idea. It could just be a combination of things. So a few more here. Like this one's kind of funny here. I don't know what's going on there. There's a few others. It's going to look dark as though here. I don't know if that's from fingers. And again, chemical on the coin. I don't touch the coins on the surface, on the top 
obverse reverse i only hold by the edge the rim so i don't know what that is all right now these were walkers over here failed to say so we left the barbers on the left and on the right side you have some walkers all right then we also have some franklin's Another commemorative Washington Carver. Nothing great. Uh, these are coins. Some of these are a little bit better on this page. But I wasn't going to put them in capsules and throw them in the tubes where I keep my Britannias and all that. That's all 90%. Or uh, the all th uh, three nines, four nines silver in the, in the uh, airtight tubes I have there. So again, this stuff just goes in the book. I didn't want to put them in there because that's coin roll tubes there and uh that was it so that's how i store my 90 percent silver again just another way to enjoy it versus a tube and if you want to see if anyone's interested in seeing the second book in the background leave a comment just say hey show us generic book two or something like that and i'll do a video on it in that one not everything's going to be 90 percent silver or 40 percent silver I do have a couple two cent coins, maybe a couple shield nickels, and uh just it's it's just whatever's thrown in there. This one's this one's all 90%. That one's a mix, but I'd be more than happy to show it if anyone wants to see it. All right, everyone, as always, thanks for stopping by. Greatly appreciate it, and until next time, later.